call it the half-century college plan. It's taken Jules Means all of her adult life to finally have the time and resources to earn her degree at the University of California, Berkeley at age 67. With Berkeley, I got a full ride, and I'm so grateful for that because on the uh, Social Security salary, it's almost impossible to afford the tuition. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Sometimes mistaken on campus as either a professor or a staff worker, she didn't let her teenage pregnancy, early poverty in the San Francisco Bay Area, widowhood, and debilitating strokes in her 60s cancel out her college dreams. Being a black girl uh, trying to survive in, in a world where there was a lot of uh, racial tension, um, for me, I didn't even think it was feasible for me to ever get to uh, 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 UC Berkeley. I was going through the roster, I was just calling out everybody's names, and I came to hers, I said, Jules? And she immediately stopped me and said, no, it's Miss Jules. UC Berkeley sociology professor Andy Barlow quickly discovered how much of an impact she would have on his class as Berkeley would have on her. She was somebody who shared with students a, a long history of her struggles and her resilience and inspired them. She was somebody who really was compassionate and caring for the other students in a way that made them feel very safe. Does anyone know what Birmingham's nickname was in the 1960s? Her history class on social justice last year was more academic for her younger classmates. For Miss Jules, it was more connecting the societal dots of her life story, working at age 15 raising four sons, mostly on her own, and working her way up from a short order cook to a corporate executive assistant. I worked at um, Deloitte & Touche. I worked at McKesson Corporation. I worked at Ernst & Young, LLP. And it gives them an opportunity to, if they've never been around African American people, and they have this mindset that we're taking drugs or you know we're going to jails and all that kind of thing, Getting one's long-delayed college degree in your 50s or 60s isn't nearly as unique as it once was. Given the silver tsunami of the country's age wave has finally reached academia, and college campuses like this one here at the University of California, Berkeley, are trying to stay abreast of this major demographic shift. I do believe that COVID will accelerate the trend of older people returning to education. People have lost their jobs. The nature of work is changing. Uh, UC Berkeley Chancellor Carol Christ believes attracting older students should be part of a state university's diversity efforts to better reflect the changing society it serves. Learning doesn't stop when you're 22, and many people have life choices that have kept them from going to university at the traditional age, and so it's extraordinarily important to enable them to bring all the richness and experience to our student body. Kelly Richardson started his career with the Ventura County Fire Department straight out of high school. He got accepted at UC Berkeley at age 56 after attending community college and wants to start a new career as a writer. He thinks he's a more serious student than many of his younger classmates, just as he would have been as a teenager. I saw these 18, 19 year old kids just putting in the, the motions to get through class, to get the grade and to move on to their next class, to get their degree and move on in their career. I, I devoured every tidbit of information I had here. Some of the kids came up and they said, Miss Jules, hey, you want to go out with us? We're going to, um, what they call it, turn it up. And I said, turn it up? What does that mean? They said, we're going to party, Miss Jules. And I said, while you kids are turning it up, I'm going to be turning it down reading my textbooks. In addition to her campus job before COVID, advising married students and veterans adjusting to campus life, Miss Jules and Kelly Richardson belong to a campus support group for older students called the OWLs. OWLs stands for Older, Wiser Learners. That's what it stands for. And I don't like that word old, so I say mature. Since the COVID shutdown, they continue to meet weekly online to share problems and tips for coexisting with classmates younger than their children. 
let's face it, my brain does not work as well as it did when I was 20. So it's imperative that I form these relationships with these younger students and come together in study groups. Okay, I'm gonna ask you just one more question. See how you're doing. Miss okay. Jules used the COVID shutdown to home tutor her youngest son, Stefan, who is attending the same community college she started at. He and his older brother, Harold, promised to go to college for the first time as well if she was able to get into UC Berkeley. She kind of puts, like, you know, quite a bit of pressure, but I know she does it because, like, you know, she loves me and she just wants me to succeed in college and, you know, do really good in my life. I had a dream that this is what I wanted in my life. Miss Jewell spent much of her life overcoming challenges, the most serious being a series of strokes in her 60s that ended her working career. I was very depressed, um, almost didn't have a will to live. And I thought, what can I do with my life that I didn't do rearing my boys? And the first thing that came to my mind was, Jules, go back to school. Go back to school and do something and get a degree. Miss Jules got her sociology degree last year with honors, but is still waiting for a formal college graduation Matthew ceremony, Peters. which was canceled once again this year Peter due to COVID. I dreamt of walking across that stage with my family and friends all in the audience just congratulating me on my achievement. I even had my announcements made, and as you can see, it has the date. And when they closed the campus, I cried several times, but I knew there was nothing no one can do. Miss Jules and her fellow owls believe their life experiences give them an advantage over the younger students in one critical lesson, resilience. I'm happy, you wanna know why? Why? I'm gonna interview you now. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm gonna wear this, this gown. I'm gonna wear it. And that's because I got accepted into grad school. So I still am gonna be able to use my cap and gown. For the PBS NewsHour, this is Mike Saray in Berkeley, California.